How's it going everybody? I am back in Fallout 4 and today I'm actually going to do a mod review slash tutorial, you know. Uh, I'm going to showcase Quapa. So this is the new Place Anywhere tool made by Tim Tim Man. So he made the original Swapa tool and uh, the Swapa was kind of confusing for a lot of people but uh, he's made an updated version and so this is like brand new so I have talked to the uh, developer uh, in the comments of like his tutorial videos and he said that the features are or that the the way the mod works is actually subject to change at any time because this is just pre pre alpha uh, I just want to start off with saying that and he even put it in here all pre alpha stuff and uh, may change or break for any update. So he could update something and it could just stop working altogether. And uh, I just wanted to start off with that. But there's a lot of features in this mod. It's kind of a uh, compilation mod. So the current features for it include Make Static, which that's a mod that I use for decorating uh i'm i'm not sure if having something made static with the tool uh or without uh, activating the tool which i'll explain later really is the best uh way to do it but we'll find out i guess and then also a tilt tool which it works pretty well. Um, there is kind of you have to do a lot to kind of get it to work, but it's pretty simple once you kind of figure it out. Also, place anywhere. Uh, it works a lot like the place anywhere tool, uh, the post that I use regularly. Except for now, it gives you a menu that tells you the item that it's trying to pick up, which is pretty useful. Um, it is kind of buggy right now. But I'm sure that he's going to work on that. Um, also, groups like Place Anywhere. Uh, in his video, he worked with it. And it was working fine. But I I read through a lot of the comments on the mod itself. And a lot of people say that that doesn't work. But we'll find out. I've not actually used that section yet. Um, some planned features for the future. He wants to add some protection from getting your post stuck underground, and then also multi-select place anywhere. Uh, Another thing to mention would be that the load order, uh, he said that it can be placed anywhere in the load order. Um, Alright, so in whatever settlement you guys are going to be using this in, you're going to want to have a chemistry station. Uh, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be in that, that settlement, so you're going to need a chemistry station at least in one place. Uh, you're going to go to the very bottom into utilities, and then you will see a make static quapa. So whenever you make that, you'll back out, and then in your inventory, you will now have a miscellaneous make static quapa option in uh, under miscellaneous. So... The next thing you're going to need is at least one item that you can, I mean, manipulate while you're in workshop mode. And so, I'll just place it down. And so, what I'll do here is I'll hit square to select that item. And then hold X to pick up the item. And you can move it around as you can see and then L2 R2 to make adjustments to it so I'll use L2 and R2 to turn it on that axis and so then I will hit the left analog to switch axis so now that's L2 that's R2 that's L2 that's R2 that's L2 that's R2 that's L2, that's R2, and so this is a pretty useful tool. So, originally the tire was on its side, 
So I'll go ahead and I'll place it down. And then without hitting X to place it back down, I'll hit circle. And then I will select the make static guapa option. And you can see now that the object is static. If I run into it, it's not going to move. Um, so that is what his options are for make static. If you're going to just place things around the settlement, you can do that as, as well to make an object static. And if you want to deselect it from static, you're going to go ahead and go back in. You're going to click this again and then hold X on it and the object is no longer static. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and show you how to use Place Anywhere. So uh, you're going to go into your build mode and the build mode does take forever to load uh, especially now with mods and stuff so this is a completely unedited version of that. So in the special tab of the build mode you're gonna have two or well, three options you're gonna have the general selector post so I'll show you what that's for later but we'll go ahead and get it out now you have the place anywhere tool or place anywhere post and then this is the menu I was referring to earlier so when you place it down or initially it gives you a menu that says uh, that nothing is selected. You just go ahead and hit exit. And then the third one is the group select place anywhere post. So we have the general post, the place anywhere post, and the group select post. So with this mod, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to grab just any object. I'll just grab a wall. So this wall regularly snaps. Uh, I want maybe this wall to be right here inside of this gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this closer to this wall and then it'll give me the option to attach the place anywhere tool to the shack wall. So I, I just accept, uh, I just select attach and now, when I pick up the Place Anywhere tool, it will be the wall that I'm moving. And I can move it anywhere I like. So, if I just move it right here. Alright, so now I've filled in that gap with the Place Anywhere tool. So, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is actually the General Selector Post. And with this one you can actually use this to rotate objects to tilt objects and stuff like that so I'll just grab like this junk wall and we'll say we want it over here but we want it kind of at an angle so I'll place this junk wall down like right here and I'll just move this object or move this uh, post right next to this object. So now this post should be working with this junk fence. So now everything that I do uh, that I want this object to be rotated uh, to is based off of this tire. So out of build mode I'll go over to this tire I'll select it and from my use that sets the base of what the object is going to be. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it and we'll just place it right here. Make static. So now this object is static. And the useful thing about doing it in this order is that I can go right back to this and then you're going to select the general selector post on the right you see it says hit X to make make tilt so I'll do that you'll see the wall has disappeared and is now over here um, it's not the way that I wanted it to be but we can adjust that 
Uh, I'll show you that you can still move the object and everything. So if I select the object, uh, something that is weird with this is that if I move from left to right, it moves it on the axis that you have uh, tilted it to. Also, L2 and R2 do the same thing. So if I want, if you wanted this to be a ramp instead of a wall you could make it a ramp uh, this is a really steep one I could fix that pretty easily but um, but yeah that is how you tilt an object and what's useful about that is that if I go back to the Quaffa post or the place anywhere post and I place it near it I don't want to attach it to that I want it to attach to the junk fence. So you see, junk fence. I'll select it. And then, as I move it around, eventually it should, like, detach the Place Anywhere tool. So now, I can move it anywhere that I'd like. And if I move it over a little bit and then make some minor adjustments. The only problem I have is that I can't... Uh, it's not exactly how you would want, but right here I'm showing you that the find adjustment tools work. They work well, but the only issue I have is that now the Place Anywhere tool is back. It goes away after a second, but while you're in the find adjustment mode or whatever, it actually pulls the Place Anywhere tool back. I just need to make some adjustments. To this and then I can place it down, detach it, move the post, and then back out. And so you can see now it's angled. Uh, this would be cool uh, if you were doing it with other things and stuff uh, you could build some really interesting stuff with these but now I kind of have an, a good idea of what the axis are for this so right now this is flat and the wall should be facing this way whenever I tilt it so now that I've placed that object to it if I wanted to do it with other things I know what way the item will be facing based off of what angle uh, I have the tire. You just have to remember what way you have it picked up. Alright, so after you've built whatever object you're going to build, uh, whether it just be some furniture or like this, I built stairs with railings, and I want it to lead up to this roof, all you're going to do is you're going to select the place anywhere post, you're going to place it near the object you want, you're going to pick it up, and then you're going to kind of move out of the way. And you can see that it picked up the object. So just to warn you guys now, if you pick up an object uh, that has any of the tilted uh, objects on it, they will be kind of glitchy. And as you rotate, they still rotate on whatever axis you move them to. So if I just want to have a... a set of stairs uh, up to this rooftop. I'll just go ahead and place those there. And if I build a way up here, you can see now it's kind of glitched in. Uh, I didn't really move it that crazy much into the build, but if I wanted to, I could. Also, I wanted to do a quick shout out to Crazy Razor. Uh, he's the one that actually told me about this mod. It's fairly new, so uh, not a whole lot of people know about it, I assume. Uh, but, yeah, he's the one that told me about it. Uh, he explained like the difference between this mod and Swappa and Place Anywhere. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a quick shout-out to Crazy Razor for that. So, thanks. So, uh, But let me know what you guys think of this mod. And let me know if you guys, this is something that you would use 
Uh, you guys will notice in one of my builds here soon that I used the Place Anywhere tool. That's when I started using the Place Anywhere tool. And or from this mod and you'll notice that there is like a, a pretty significant difference uh, in time like it does take a little bit longer to use this mod rather than uh, registrators so uh, I may actually like replace this mod with all the mods I used to have just to save myself some time and then eventually come back to it once it's got a couple fixes or whatnot because it is a really really good mod but I think it just needs some work and yeah I'll keep you guys updated on this mod I, I guess because uh, it's something that I think eventually everybody will want to use because it is pretty useful and a pretty interesting thing so yeah let me know what you guys think of this mod let me know what you guys uh, would like to see me build uh, in the future maybe including this mod and if you're new around here make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one